Welcome to the Ames Web Overview for Software Purposes. In this overview, you will receive um, a brief how-to in familiarizing yourself with the Ames Web Software System. Let's start with logging in. When your account is set up, you will receive an email from Ames Web. Within this email, it will include information for login, such as your username and a temporary password. It will also include a link that takes you directly to this login page. The customer ID number is the same for all Wausau School District employees. 29021. Again, the email will include your username and password. Once you're logged in, I would suggest going to the orange Welcome tab. Let's click on it. Once you are in this tab, you will see that there is many useful tools for familiarizing yourself with Ames Web. There are how-tos into finding your account, changing your password, as well as locating different tabs that will include tools you need for progress monitoring purposes. Let's take a closer look at the My Account tab. As you can see, it's the green tab right here. Once you click on the My Account tab, it takes you immediately to this page where it shows your personal info. Many times, users will want to change their password. To do so, you would need to look at the options listed along the side of the page over here. Here's the password tab. Let's click on it. This would bring you to this page where you could change, modify, and then save a password if you need to change it for any reason whatsoever. Let's talk a little bit more about some of the other uses of the tabs in Ames Web. Here is a tab that you will use very frequently, the Downloads tab. When you click on it, it will bring you to the Download Central, where you can see there are many useful downloads that you can use for reference and for help as we're getting ready with Ames Web. This tab also includes options on the side for downloading tools such as Progress Monitoring. Let's give the Progress Monitoring tab a click. Once you click on the Progress Monitoring tab, it will automatically take you to the Early Literacy Progress Monitoring Probe. Let's take a look at something else. For instance, if we wanted to look at the Reading CVM, um, again, that is exactly what we're using in Dibbles, just by a different name. We would go up here to the drop-down menu, highlight Reading, and then click Go. This brings you to the Reading CVM Progress Monitoring Probe download page. Here also, I would like to take note that you could download the Reading Progress Monitoring CVM probes, or you could click over to the Reading Comprehension probes as well, called Maze in Ames Web. Let's say we wanted to download a probe. We'll just pick a grade. How about third grade? You can see that once you click on it, it takes you to the third grade probes and you can download whatever passage you need. Another feature that was briefly mentioned in the first Ames Web Overview that we can show in a bit more detail here is the option for browser-based scoring. Again, this is an option that eliminates the need for paper pencil tests for the reading CVM. To do this option, you would go to the orange scoring tab and click on it. As you can see, my level of access allows me to show many different grades and classrooms. When you have your account and you do this, it will only show your grade or your class, I should say. So let's pick third grade. To do the browser-based scoring, you would click on the scores right here. 
And let's just pick a random student for the purpose of this demonstration. We'll go with this first one here. And then you would go and click Assess Now. This automatically brings you to the browser-based scoring option. We'll click OK. Once in browser-based scoring, you would read the instructions out loud to the student. The student would have a copy of the probe in front of them to read out loud. And you would then be using this answer key on the computer or Chromebook or iPad that you had at your disposal. It's worth noting that you would start the timer when the student actually starts reading. So let's say the student started reading. We'll click Start. Once it starts, we would measure which words were read incorrectly by clicking on them, like this. It's worth noting that just as with Dibbles, we would discontinue this measure if there were too many errors read in the first line. However, if the student continues to read and gets through that first line, we would measure his progress throughout the whole minute. Once the minute is up, it will automatically calculate the words read correct per minute and the percent accurate for you, and thus automatically update it in the Ames Web Software Guide. As we just have a few seconds left, we'll let the timer run down. As you can see, the one minute is up. You would click on the last word, red. And then this window pops up and tells you probe one has been scored. There were 59 corrects and three errors. You would click OK. And this is just allowing you to do probes two or three. Um, so that concludes our demonstration for this student. Um, we'll go back to scoring. And this takes you again back to the original scoring page. Um, we'll end again at the Welcome tab by clicking on it. Again, this was meant to be a brief overview of showing you how to interface with the Ames Web software. More succinct and detailed training on how to use Ames Web, especially relating to downloading tools and entering data, will come in sessions two and three of your Ames Web training in the near future before winter benchmark. Any questions you have in the meantime can be forwarded to Sarah Betcher, the District RTI Coordinator. This concludes the Ames Web Software Overview. Enjoy.